shock. Good information to keep in mind, Madison, appreciate that. The city's continued work clearing out illegal homeless camps has some wondering where people are supposed to go when the rescue mission might not be an option. 13's Callie Holthouse has today's update for us. Callie? Yeah, Melissa, not everyone experiencing homelessness can or wants to go to the Topeka Rescue Mission, which means they run the risk of illegally camping again and creating a rinse and repeat cycle of relocating. But officials today said they're doing something new. City officials cleared a homeless encampment near the levee Tuesday, where Captain Colleen Stewart estimates five people were living. We have our city resources here, and we were just checking the... Uh, the camps, as you can see, to make sure nobody is left behind. This marks the sixth time in 2024 that city officials have cleared and relocated the belongings of unsheltered people, a process they call homeless camp abatement. So far, the process comes with an $85,000 price tag. Just uh, in, in another phase of uh, making sure that our individuals who are homeless are safe in relocating. Officials from the Topeka Rescue Mission approached those being relocated with various resources. We've been out here trying to communicate to people to help them understand. This is very complicated. Um, and so they are already functioning from a trauma brain mindset. But with limited space at the rescue mission, where is everyone else supposed to go? The city of Topeka has no sanctioned homeless camp, but police say they directed people to a few of the 200 83 properties under city ownership. Based on uh, their ability to look at maps, then they know what is legal. She says they've identified about 10 city owned properties where unsheltered people can stay without violating city ordinances. Those are the locations that they're going to, where, where they're not going to bother in the middle of a neighborhood, where they're not going to bother infrastructure, waterways, that type of thing, which are specifically within the ordinance. Stewart wouldn't say where those locations are, but implies resources aren't far away. We know that the further they get away from resources, uh, it, the potential is there for unintended consequences. The city will continue clearing camps near the levee. The next abatement is scheduled for April 26th and will impact those living south of the levee. All right, we appreciate you looking into that. We continue to follow this as city officials continue meeting on solutions as well.